So I'm going to be showing you how to do the thumb hole on the Lickety Split Fingerless Mitts, which is a free pattern on the Knit Cafe's blog. So I have the mitten here done up to where the thumb hole is meant to be. Um, so normally I would just continue knitting in rounds right here, um, but the pattern says turn. So you're going to turn it over so that you're looking at the purl side and you're going to be working into the stitch here where the yarn is attached and you're going to work it purlwise in purl stitches so that the pattern on the outside stays like knits. So I'm just going to purl it back. Oopsie. This needle is in my way. So I'm using double pointed needles but you could be using circular needles and doing this magic loop. I have my double pointed needles organized so that they're on three needles, but you can have your setup so that you're working on four needles. That's okay too. So I'm just working through all the stitches all the way around. So right now, instead of going in circles, I am actually knitting in rows. So the pattern says to purl one row here. So I'm making sure that I purl all the way around the whole circle to where I began. But then when I get there, I'm not going to join it in around again. Almost there. The pattern at this point, when you get to the end, is going to say turn again. So I'm going to turn it over so I'm looking at the knit side and I'm going to be working into the stitch that I just finished purling where the yarn is attached and knit it back. Then you're going to be continuing that pattern so purling a row turn, knitting a row turn until it um, measures a specific length. So keep going until that length is achieved and I'm going to just show you how to rejoin it again in the round when I get to the beginning of the round. So once you've done the number of rows necessary for the um, the length of the thumb hole it's going the pattern will tell you to rejoin in a round on your next knit round. So let's say that this is my next knit round. I've already done the length of the thumb hole that I wanted and I'm going to rejoin here. I do my knit round and then after the knit round, when I'm rejoining, the pattern is going to go straight into the knit two purl two for the top of the mitten. So I finish that stitch. There's my thumb opening. Instead of turning it this time, I just keep going in the same direction I would for knitting in rounds. I insert my needle into this stitch like that, not the one where my yarn is attached and I start right into my knit two, purl two for the top of my mitten. And then continue on finishing your mitten. I hope that was helpful. Happy knitting.